Hey, this is Tom Lucient, and I'm showing an early prototype of the Novant Zeal. So what this does is lets you keep track of your arm's position in a computer game, and it actually gives you forces, so it adds sense of touch to motion control. So it tracks the, where the arm moves in very high precision with no leg, and motors in the device turn on when you get events, like shooting a gun or swinging a golf club and you impact with the ball. So it really makes you feel like you're in the game. It makes you actually be the character, you control what the character does, and you feel what the character feels. It's a really amazing technology. You can use Zio to swing a virtual golf club, touch virtual objects, or shoot a virtual gun, or throw a virtual ball. So in the rest of the video, I'm going to take you through how Zio works, how the forces work and the tracking works. This actually is an engineering version, though. The final version is going to be a lot sleeker, a lot thinner. Um, the big pieces that are sticking out are going to be gone. The cable will be gone. It's going to be very easy to put on and off. It'll be very ergonomic. So the final version is going to be a lot different than this. This is just an engineering version. So there's two ways to use Zio. One is to just use Zio almost like a mouse, where you just can sit on a couch very comfortably or sit at a desk and just control your movements with your wrist. And it gives you very precise, leg-free control. Um, the other way to play is more standard motion control, where you stand in front of a TV, and if you want to swing like a tennis racket or a, a golf club or just in general be the character in the game, Zio allows that type of interaction as well. So a great way to play Zio is just kick back on the couch, relax. Uh, here we've got a left-handed controller to control your navigation. And then with Zio, you can just get where you're nice and comfortable, um, your arms at a relaxed position. So if you want to use Zio in a first-person shooter, you can control your aim with very precise movements just using your wrist. So it's real similar to using a mouse. And then when you shoot, you actually feel the recoil. So here I feel a small recoil with a small caliber pistol. If I use a um, big gun, you feel a much bigger kick, so you can see how hard it's kicking in my hand. If you use a machine gun, you feel every bullet coming out. So it really feels like you're wielding weapons. If you shoot with a, a bigger caliber machine gun, it actually feels different. You feel the rate coming out differently, and it feels like a bigger impact. Now I'll go mow down some guys with Zeo. I'm able to aim precisely and look to get headshots. Up here I'm going to use a crowbar on the wood planks. Watch Zio's reaction as I hit the planks. As I hit the stairs just there on the way up, I felt myself bump into them. There with the machine gun again, you feel every bullet coming out. Now I'm going to switch to a shotgun. Watch Zio itself as I take shots. Not only do I feel the recoil of the blast, but I also feel the pump action reloading. It makes it feel like you're really holding the weapon. In general, you can feel everything that happens in the game. So for example, if you pick up a barrel, you can feel its weight. Here I'll hold it real lightly, and when I let go of the barrel, you can feel the weight release. If I take a couple shots at the barrel and it starts to get ready to explode, you feel the explosion from the side. There's another explosion. I'm closer to it, so I felt it as a bigger explosion. Zio is also great standing in front of a TV. It addresses a lot of the problems that motion control has right now. So motion control technologies like the Nintendo Wii, uh, Microsoft Connect, Sony Move, they're great technologies, but they have limitations. And the limitations they have are things that Nomad Zio fixes. So for example, uh, they tend not to be very accurate. They tend to have lag. So for example, here, you do a swing. There's no difference between a full swing like this or if you just do kind of a little wrist-based movement. And that's because there's a real lack of accuracy when you're playing. In a shooter, the lack of accuracy makes it difficult to aim. It can be frustrating when you make a movement that doesn't register correctly. If a golf club swings when you don't expect it to, or if you throw a punch that doesn't register, it can be disconcerting. Another issue is lag. When you make a movement and the system takes a moment to catch up, it disrupts the experience, slows the interactions, and adjusts how you play. Here you can see how early you have to swing a paddle before it registers. Here you can see the delay in a golf club's movements. Perhaps the biggest issue with motion control though is that you don't feel anything in the games. A bowling ball has no weight. A landed boxing punch is simply waving your arms in the air. No forces means you're missing a lot. 
So one of the things you can do with Zio that's really pretty powerful is you can move a three-dimensional hand, you know, wherever you move your hand, you know, the 3D cursor moves. So if you want to control your character's hand in the game, you just move like you would in real life, and your character moves his hand. And then the really impressive thing is when you touch something, you actually feel it. So you can feel the weight of an object, you can feel the surface. So for example, here I can touch the surface of this ball, and I feel the direction of the force wherever I'm touching it. So as I slide around it, it almost feels like I'm actually touching a ball about this big in real life. If I change the texture to a molasses type of texture, for example, then when I go through it, I can feel the viscosity. So it feels like I'm moving through something real thick and sticky. So another thing that you can feel with Zio is inertia, momentum, dynamics. So for example, if I reach forward and I touch this ball, then I can get it swinging around. It's attached to a rubber band, and I feel the rubber band stretching against it as I swing it around. It's just like playing that paddle ball game you play when you're a kid. You can really feel the ball swinging around. So as I really get it swinging, I feel it, the more the rubber band pulls, the more pressure I get. And if I kind of hold it lightly, you can see that Zio is pulling on its own, even though I'm you know, holding it lightly. So another thing you can do with Zio is play sports. Or, or in general, any type of interaction you have where you're the character, you can feel what the character feels. So in this case, I can move around and, and control a, a catcher's mitt. So the robot pitcher pitches to me, and when it impacts the glove, I actually feel it. I feel the ball slap into the glove. So if you want to control a slingshot or a bow with CO, for example, you actually can reach forward and grab the string, and as you pull it back, you feel it get tight. So for example, here on this slingshot, I reach and I grab the string, and I pull it back, I feel it getting tighter and tighter as I come back, and then when I release, I feel the twang of the string releasing, and I shoot the can off the fence. So in a golf game like Tiger Woods, you can actually do a full golf swing, and it'll track what you do, and then you can actually feel when the club hits the ball. It really makes you feel like you're in the game. So for example, if you grab the, the club and you start bringing it back, you can actually feel the weight of the club. I can feel the weight pushing on the motors. And then if you take a full swing, you swing through and you impact the ball. So you come back, swing through, and then as you impact the ball, you actually feel it. So I felt the wind the club struck the ball. It really makes you feel like you're in the game. So you can putt as well. When you putt, it has a similar type of interaction tracks your club, come through, and you can hit the ball. When you hit the ball, you feel the impact again. And because it's one-to-one -one motion and you feel how hard the ball is hit, you actually feel an impact, you can really get that sense of muscle memory that makes real life golf fun. So that's a summary of Zio. As I said at the beginning of the video, it's a really exciting technology. We're excited to get it into customers' hands. As we create more prototypes and get more into a sleeker industrial design look, we'll make more videos and uh, we'll show them on the Tom Lucian channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I'll answer them. Thanks.